Hi everybody, welcome to Shepton Mallet Antiques Fair in Somerset. This is pre-fair, an hour before the fair opens to the public. The dealers are getting set up. This is Pat and Jenny. Do you mind if I interrupt you two? I know it's, it's breakfast time, isn't it? No, no, no. Have you had your breakfast already? Yeah, we have. Yeah, I'll tell you what it is. It's Patrick wants to get the van packed up and it's hanging. He um, pushes me on it. Oh, does he? Oh, so honestly. Well, I it looks have very to get exciting. the domestic side out of the way so he can do the work side. <laughs> well, it's going to rain at 12 o'clock or 1 o'clock, so. Uh... Before oh. that, I've got up, I've sorted the pitch out, I've cooked him breakfast. Oh, honestly. He doesn't know he's born, does he? He does not. He really it. doesn't. Now, th this to me is Pat, but to you, it is. Jenny. No, but Pat Patrick, isn't Patrick, it? Patrick, yeah, yes. You don't call him Pat. Never have done. <laughs> ah, Jenny! Nor did his mother. Right. Are we getting personal now? Yeah, we are. Let's let's talk about stuff. <laughs> Pat and Jenny, you specialise in vintage, good quality garden furniture we pieces. We do. Yeah. We do. Show, show me around um, while, while Jenny well, gets everything what about else organised. kitchen table that I love? That one there. It's not a garden table. Oh, table. kitchen table. <laughs> Oh yes, yeah. That's right, early 1900s. It has homework done on it. Tell me about it, Pat. Well, it's a nice table. Somebody's knocked a square out of it at some time and put a pit, put it back in. Let me have a look at it. Come a bit closer in so we can hear you, Jenny. Oh, yes, with that. Yeah. So let's well, tell me why you love this. Um, I love sculleries, and it reminded me of the scullery when I was growing up. Really? Yes. Oh, how and wonderful. And I really think it's great that sculleries are coming back. Yes. And you'll get the big mixer taps in the scullery yeah, now. That's and right. You don't fiddle around with designer kitchens anymore. No. They're the real thing for a, a supposed working family that don't really work, but they think no. they are. No, it's kind of like the, the posh family trying, trying to look a bit grungy. It's the but image. Do, yes, it's, it's a great it's image. image yes. and, and you can use old pieces like this yes. in creating that image, can't you? Yeah, and Kelly Hoffer would use something like yeah, this. Yeah, very much so. And it would, yes, she would love that. She would. And do you sell to designers as well as private people? Yeah, we do occasionally. Yeah. Sell to all sorts of people. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, it's, it's wonderful. So, but you specialise in, in garden furniture. We do mostly do outdoor because you don't have to be forever being careful. Yeah. We're not indoor traders, we're you gotta be like outdoors. Call us low yeah. end outside traders yes. and we fit where we are and people come and look for us. It's good. We, when if you'd come around at the beginning of the fair you would have seen masses of deck chairs and recliners. Right. And I thought, Oh my god, Brighton Beach. Yes. But it, it, that's all that's left. Wow, so you've had a good time and of it so far. Uh, Garden, garden things are wanted. Yes. And people don't always want the new image. No, exactly, exactly. Um, but I, I know Pat, you, you do source your items as vintage. We do. So yeah. you, you don't buy new pieces. No, we never buy never. new. No. Uh, it's all, as you can see, as you look around, it's all uh, vintage furniture. Yeah. We don't buy um, vintage for our life either. In, no. in, in, home, we, we, we don't buy new. We all everything we have. Yes. Has had a life. Yeah, well, I mean, that's being in the antiques business anyway, I yeah. suppose, isn't it? I mean, we, we've always done that. We've always been environmentally friendly, but we didn't know it until recently, do we, did we, Jenny? No, this is true. I don't like having new things. No. I don't crave for new things. No, exactly. I, and it's, That's why I love this, this chair. Yeah, yeah. I, I just think it's lovely. There's a lovely hat box behind you. And I thought it was... Hang on, just say that again, because the, 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 oh, the yeah. van came. The lovely hat box behind you, which I bought as part of a lot in an auction, and Patrick wasn't keen on it, so I must admit he's correct, it's still here, uh -huh. and it's still here quite a few months later, but inside it was this, the, the, that's written, oh, what where does that say? it belonged to Mrs Monday at Wanstead House, and it's had a life. And was that top hat that in, in it? it? Obviously it's the wrong hat, yeah, because it would it have come down a much bigger. But, yes. but you like the story and I the connections. I don't think though. it would have been a top hat because I think a real top hat would have been taller. Yes. But it would have been a hat. Yes. And it would have been a hat for Mrs. Monday wanted to house. Yes, morning, morning. So you love the stories. This is yes. a common theme I'm finding, you know, because I'm, I'm making a lot of films now for Facebook and YouTube, which is this, this is a film for it. And I get the chance to really get to know people and the dealers because we've got as much time as we want. And this is what I'm finding here, Pat, that 
people dealers love the stories and the connections to real people long gone. Yeah. It's fascinating, isn't it? Yeah, Patrick came home one day with two of those recliners there. Well, they're real deck chairs and they've got a little swing to Which one? Them. The green one. Oh, yes, I middle. see it, yeah. yeah. Well, it was a pair, but one got blown, so it needs a bit of work doing to it now. But I like those because they are of a lifestyle. Yes, exactly. It sums up a certain period in time, yes. doesn't and it? I, I imagine the dress that people were wearing and how they were behaving yeah. and the people bringing them their teas and their coffees on deck and all yes, that sort of yes, thing. Yes, all of that, all yes. of that. Now, Pat, show me your favourite item. Uh, I think at the moment, probably this uh, park and old chair. Oh, it's a park and old? Yeah. Ah, right. Uh, it's an early park and old. Oh, I see that, uh, yeah, of course. Is, um, adjustable recliner. Wow, what a good looking thing. Yeah. Now, this is obviously something made for indoors. Yes, oh yes, it's an indoor chair, but it's unusual for us. We think it was probably made uh, to be supplied to uh, Heels, I think it was. Oh, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. 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 Our son-in-law looked it up. Oh, I see, yeah. That is really a beautiful thing. I mean, Park and Oll, anyway, are popular now, aren't they? But oh, they are. It's a lovely plating here. Yeah. Which not everything does have. It's not just the name This is all, all original springing, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it's got this. Here, the registered trademark. That is absolutely charming, it really we, is. We could only find one other on the net. Right. Um, we researched far and wide sort of thing and we could only find one other. So we think this is a very rare chair. It is a very rare chair and it's actually got a lovely colour to it, hasn't it? Yes. I don't think you want yeah. to do any restoration to that, no, do you? it's lived a life, but it, you yeah. know, there's a few little marks on it, but that's how things are. Absolutely. Well, we've all got a few marks on us, no, haven't we? I'm we have, yeah. Makes us better looking, don't you think? <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> Only to some. Yeah. So this, the reclining system is very simple. Yeah, it's Should it's just simple. drop up and, yeah, and go back right. like that, yeah. yeah. And it's got a swivel. You get up and the uh, swivel bits there. Very lovely. And how much is that? 1,400? We've got it at 1,400. The only one, the other one I could find was 1,850. So it gives somebody a chance to Absolutely. turn it over. That's a great thing with the internet, actually. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. so useful for the research that's right and i mean this is pre-fair actually the fair's not even open yet no, is it no and so everybody we see our dealers getting ready and it's really interesting isn't yeah, it to, right. to watch as the fair comes alive how was it yesterday then were you very busy uh, yesterday wasn't quite so good normally we're busier on a saturday yeah but uh, friday was pretty good for us okay it's just the way it goes that's isn't right it? Yeah. yeah exactly it was the other way around friday's a little bit quiet Chatty busy, yeah, but it was the other way for us today. All, all right, this time, yeah. So, um, but you've sold plenty of stuff, you've yeah. had a good fare overall, yeah. yeah. Very pleased. We like uh, Shepton, it's a nice atmosphere here. Uh, we know a lot of people, and we regard it as a three day break rather than a sale, actually. So, oh, uh, there you go. This that's is very a, good for us. This is another common theme how people in this business do look upon it as a great lifestyle yeah. isn't it we find in somerset people are very friendly when they yeah. come around and um they're buying yeah uh, very um, relaxed yes mm, yes very nice. you look very relaxed you look terribly summery thank you yeah you look <laughs> you're looking like you're gonna have a good day out and where will we next see you which way are you going to next uh, well if you're at uh, ardingly on monday Right. Tuesday. Uh, Tuesday. I will be at Arding Lion Tuesday. You'll be there? Yeah. yeah on the white section. White section. Brilliant. It's uh, hard for him number 12. because he's got to unload tomorrow and then reload. Well, that's right. That's the nature of the beast there. Yeah. That's yeah. why it keeps him so fit and agile and lithe, you yeah. see? <laughs> yes, is that what you call it? A bit of doubt there, wasn't it? <laughs>